Welcome to the Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. This episode is called Divinity Puree. I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and this episode is sponsored by my book and audiobook, the number one Amazon bestseller called Instant Divine Assistance, your complete guide to fast and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and more. Just go to Amazon and search for Instant Divine Assistance or click the link in the show notes. I publish both audio and video versions of Awaken, Heal, and Thrive, so take your pick. The video versions are on my YouTube channel called Benjamin Bernstein Podcasts. I drop new episodes twice a month. Be sure to subscribe to Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get it. And if you have not already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for a free chance to win a full year of my Awakening Plus online membership. I announce a new winner every month. All righty, divinity puree. What do I mean by that? This is the idea that your divine allies can be experienced not as individual beings, but as one composite energy field. This brings to mind a story. Uh, the great guru Ramana Maharshi apparently was asked by one of his disciples, oh, great guru, what do we do about other people? And his answer was, there are no other people. And this is a pointer toward oneness. And this is the kind of oneness that one can eventually experience with one's divine allies as well as other humans. In fact, when I work as a shaman, when I sit at my mesa, I call in quite a few divine beings, several dozen, in fact. I do uh, have a criterion. They all have to be of high vibration and benevolent intent. Now, once in a while, I may feel a particular personality emerge, but usually it's just a field, a puree of divine energy. In fact, I'd like to share with you a story from one of my ayahuasca ceremonies where I had a very profound experience that opened this to me in a really powerful way. This was from April 22nd of 2016. This is when St. Germain blended with me. If you don't already know, St. Germain is an ascended master. And if you don't know what an ascended master is, these are beings that have had human incarnations and they kind of master the human thing and they graduate humanity, basically, and have a choice. Well, we can move on to higher levels and leave this whole earth thing behind, or we can hang around and help out the humans that are still here, help them heal and awaken. And there's a lot of ascended masters who've chosen to stay here and help us humans out who haven't quite hit the graduation point yet. St. Germain is one of those ascended masters. Of course, every ascended master has their own unique qualities and such, but that doesn't really matter for the purpose of my illustration. So I'm not getting it into what makes St. Germain special. It could have been any ascended master for the point of this story. Anyhow, I'm in this ayahuasca ceremony and St. Germain appears and says he wants to blend with me. And I said, absolutely, let's do that. But as he tried to come in, a tremendous energetic resistance came up inside me. And that led to a massive purge. Now, this was not a physical purge. At this point, I was learning how to not necessarily have to physically vomit or release something out of my bowels or my urine, but I was learning how to release things just energetically. And oh my gosh, there was so much purging. And I'm going to use a technical word here. The word is hucha. This is a word from the Quechua language in South America. And hucha means heavy energy. And very often, if one is doing ayahuasca or other plant spirit work, you release a lot of heavy energy and it can come out, of course, physically with vomit and such, but many times it just comes out through energetic release. And that's how this particular one was coming. Now, I did have a bucket. Uh, you always have a bucket when you're doing ayahuasca. And I had that bucket and I was purging into it. I was you know, leaning over as if I was going to physically vomit, but what was happening is energy was just flowing out the top of my head and tons of stuff was coming off, but there was nothing actually physically being released. It wasn't required for this experience. And this purging was so intense that I became oblivious to everything around me in the physical space. I was prostrate on the floor, occasionally getting up onto my knees so I could use the bucket, but pretty much laid out. And at some point, I felt someone touch me, which brought my awareness back into the room. I realized I was making a lot of noise, and I was able to quiet down. Now, here I am in a very intense purging process. The heavy energy was stubborn, very, very sticky, and it would not release easily. So it took a while for it to work its way up. In fact, the shaman who was facilitating the ceremony came over and he personally helped me. He rattled, he sang, he did his shaman thing to help me through this. And once the hucha finally did release, it surged out of my mouth energetically again, but not physically, wave after wave after wave, finally dumping into that bucket. Whew. It was an amazing cleanup, and while it was intense and challenging, there was actually no suffering since I was not consciously resisting the process. There's a famous Buddhist saying, 
pain is mandatory, suffering is optional, things may be uncomfortable or even hurt, but if you're not resisting it psychologically and resenting it, then you can have a lot of physical discomfort without any psychological challenge. So anyhow, after all this is done, I was in a new state of consciousness I had never touched before. My experience of myself was that I was a God that I believe has always been a part of everybody, but I was holding consciousness as this God. I was not just Saint Germain. I was all divine beings. I was that level of being completely in my experience. There was even one moment when I heard someone calling the divine to help them, and I was the consciousness that showed up for them in the inner worlds. I also shared a celebratory Krishna song near the end and invited everyone to sing along. It was very playful with lots of volume, tone, and tempo changes. And as I sang, I was Krishna. I was Rama. I was all of that. So I want to take a pause here. I pulled that from my notes that I took right after that ceremony. And on one level, you could hear me saying, say, man, this guy has got such an ego on him. He thinks he's God. He thinks he's Krishna. He thinks he's all this divinity. What, what kind of ego trip is this guy on? But in fact, it's really just the opposite. My experience is this is what we all are. This is nothing special about me. I was so fortunate that I was able to have the experience of blending first with St. Germain and then moving from there to perceiving myself blending with all divinity. And this is where divinity puree comes in. When you awaken enough, when you have that blending with one or more beautiful divine beings of love and light, you can become the level that they operate from. And when you do, they celebrate, they say, yay, you figured it out. You're us, we're you. This whole thing's an illusion. You thought you were a separate being. You're not, you are us. All is one. And that's the beautiful thing about working with divinity puree is you become the whole field. Again, this is hard to grasp if you haven't actually experienced these levels yet. The thing about awakening is it's incomprehensible until you get there. So I'll, I'll do my best here. But you can hit a level of divinity, of awakening, where you just are a field of energy. This is beyond individuated ego. When you get to these levels, there is no one being. It is just blended field. And when you become conscious in that field, then the bliss is amazing. And what I love about deeper levels of awakening is your service capacity increases. You can come back and help people much more powerfully. And you don't just have to go there and come back when you're doing it in a really potent way, these divine energies come down and integrate into your body the best they can. And more and more, your daily reality becomes, well, I'll speak my day reality. I mean, a lot of times I wake up and I start coming to wakefulness in my bed, and this is a physical awakening. And I'm in states of bliss and ecstasy that prior years, I would have had to have a major ayahuasca ceremony to get to that level. But now it's just the usual. You know, every day you can have these extraordinary ecstatic states. And not only that, you're even more functional than before. You might think, oh, if I'm all awakened and blissed out, I'm just going to be laying there doing nothing. But actually, these deeper awakenings empower everything you do as a human and make everything better without exception. So if you can get to divinity puree, it's extraordinary. And the point of this episode, I'll, I'll wrap it up here in a moment, is that it is possible. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be some special sacred figure. Everything I've experienced, I believe anybody can if they just start using good, effective techniques and tools to get their healing and awakening accelerated. And the thing I talked about today might sound crazy, but I promise you, I know many other people too who have this experience. I've talked to them about it. So oh, yeah, I get the divinity puree too. So it's nothing special to me. It is possible for anyone who's a serious spiritual seeker. So that is what I wanted to talk about today. If you have questions or comments about this, I encourage you to leave a note. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can put something in the comments. And of course, I always welcome your emails at benjamin at astroshaman.com. Also, as I mentioned earlier, my book's title is Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. In this breakthrough book, learn how easy it can be to experience spiritual awakening within seconds just by requesting it from your higher self, quickly and permanently heal a serious challenge, even one that's caused you years of physical, emotional, or mental suffering by delegating the work to your inner healer. You can call in any kind of energy you want, anytime you want it. You can heal and bless others simply by calling it in and being a hollow reed. And as I was saying a moment ago, you can thrive in a new normal of harmonious living, enhanced intuition, joyous fulfillment of your responsibilities, and bliss. 
You can do all this and more with the instant divine assistance and vocations. This book gives you everything you need to master them. Plus, you get free access to guided recordings and other valuable online support that will speed up your personal evolution. For over 12 years, the Ida invocations have dramatically improved thousands of people's lives. Isn't the time you also experienced how quick and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and so much more can be? And by the way, if you like to listen, my audiobook is free if you are not yet a member of Audible. The deal's even sweeter if you have Amazon Prime, then you get my audiobook plus another book for free. Click the audiobook link in the show notes to take advantage of this. And Instant Divine Assistance is also available as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Click the link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon or to read it in Kindle Unlimited. Also, would you like to speed up your healing and awakening and join an uplifting community with hundreds of dedicated awakeners? Then check out Awakening Plus, the online membership that can put your personal transformation into high gear. You can choose from about a dozen Zoom calls every month, as well as an ever-expanding archive of more than 600 events, each one as powerful as the Zoom call it was recorded from, and these events can profoundly change your life. You'll also benefit from three major courses so far and much more to help you awaken, heal, and thrive. To find out more, click the link in the show notes or visit awakeningplus.com. That's awakening, P-L-U-S dot com. Thanks for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and we are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so that others can also awaken, heal, and thrive. And be sure to click the link in the show notes for that chance to win one free year of my Awakening Plus online membership. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings. Mm -hmm.